Good morning. Hello, YouTube. It's been a long, 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 long time. It's been a while. So for those that don't know me, and not many of you do, um, oh, fuzz, dog hair, something. Anyway, <laughs> hello. Good morning. I'm Melissa. I'm the middle-aged redoer. I am a full-time reseller on eBay is my primary site. Uh, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, uh, pretty much any place that I figured out to list my stuff is where I'm reselling, which has been fun. Um, I started out last year uh, reselling as a way to pay down debt, which was great. It was a lot of fun. And then life changed, which in some of my videos you can see um, that that happened. And... Um, it was in, it's been interesting since February. Now that I'm working just for myself, it's been a, a ride. Wow, uh, it's been a good time, and it's been a bad time, and it's been a crazy time, and then it's been good again. So, I started doing live sales on Facebook Marketplace, and that's been interesting to try and and navigate my way through uh, finding where I can find more people that like to have treasures of mine that I find. And um, so I thought I'd take a shot and just jump on here crazy. Just let's jump on YouTube and see if maybe I can find some friends here on YouTube that would like to shop with me. Now, Mr. Left for Work, it's somewhat peaceful. You may hear the dogs yelling and screaming in the background um, because that's just what they do. There's intruders in the house. So I thought, you know what? While I'm having my second tea of the day and trying to get my eyes open, and when I was working, the last thing I wanted to do at 8.30 in the morning was start working. So I definitely, um, even though I was there, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm bumping my camera. Even though I was there, I wasn't really there. I was definitely trying to find something else to avoid doing what I needed to do. So I'm going to distract you, hopefully, from doing what you need to do while you hang out with me, while we maybe resell some treasures that I have for you. Now, here's how this works. I hope to keep it pretty simple. I have 20 items. Just a quick sale. I, I don't have the attention span for more than 20. I pick a number. I show you the item associated with that number. I tell you how much it costs. And the first person to type in that number in the comments will be the one who wins that. Now, what I need from you is an email to middle-aged redoer, which should be going across in the banner. If not, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Uh, there we go. There we go. So send me an email to middleagedredoer at gmail.com. And in that email, tell me your name. Tell me how you would like to be invoiced, whether it's um, through PayPal or Venmo. I take both. How, where I'm going to ship it to. I need your shipping address. And the email address associated with either one of those, those two pay, payment accounts. So let's review because I just confused myself. I need your name, how you want invoiced, the email address associated with PayPal or Venmo, and your mailing address. So after this sale, whatever has found new homes, I will send you an invoice by the end of the day. As soon as payments received, I ship daily. So whatever is purchased today will ship the day after or the same day, depending on when the payment comes in. Um, just that quick. I don't hold on to stuff. I ship every day. I keep things moving and, and stay on top of stuff. Otherwise, if I don't take care of it, it's just it. Who else is like that? So. Tell me too, while I'm waiting for a few people to come in, tell me, what is it that you like to see from your reselling videos 
on on um, here on YouTube? Tell me, do you like just the live sales? Do you like haul videos? Do you like it when people don't knock the camera? Tell me what you like. I, I, I started doing some shop with me videos. Um, I don't know. I, I'm learning editing. I'm learning everything. And I mean, who, like, really, how lucky am I that at my middle age life, I get to change everything around that I'm doing and learn something new. I think that's lucky. I think I am blessed beyond blessed. Anyway, end of that soapbox. So here we go. Let's get in. Um, so if you're catching me on the replay because you're not awake enough to look at YouTube yet, or you actually did start your work day, <laughs> feel free to reach out to me at my email address or in the comments below if you see something that you'd like to bring home to you and see if it's still available. Um, by the end of the weekend, these things will go up on um, either eBay or my reselling sites, or it goes to my antique booth at Collinsville Antiques in New Hartford, Connecticut. Now, so you have a little bit of idea how far things are shipping from. I'm in Connecticut. So if you're in California, it's going to cost a little bit more than somebody that's in New York. So just, just so you know, um, I'm on one end of the country. That's where I am. That's where I am. And it's a beautiful day here in, in Connecticut. I mean, yeah, I have a sweater on, but it's not a humidity of like, 10,000 million, whatever, dew point something because, oh no, no, middle-aged ladies, we don't like that. We like when we can breathe. So now that we're breathing and let's, let's just, let's just dive in. Let's just start this sale and see what happens. And, and here we go. Here's another sip of caffeine. Mm. That reminds me. If you like what I'm doing, comment below and tell me, is early in the morning like a good time for you or what time works for you? Like, tell me, tell me, or just tell me to take my stuff and never show my face on the internet ever again. I mean, that's fine by me. I'm, I'm cool. So let's get started. Where do we start? Where do we start? Okay, start at the beginning. Now, a few weeks ago, I was in Pennsylvania and did the crazy lamp lady shopping tour. Now, I'm from where she does a lot of her shopping, and I came across this. Yeah, there we go. Let me hop my face. I love this cookie tin. The colors are just, I'm a green girl. If I see green, I am just drawn to it. And especially this 60s, 50s, stagey, vintage green is like, yeah, that's the color. It has a fruit on the scale. I think this was probably cookies. Maybe some kind of fruit cookie. I don't know. Fruit filled cookies. I don't know. Anyway, it's adorable. I love it. Now, there are a couple dings where you would expect some dings because it's an old cookie tin. There's someone here. There's really no, I mean, a little bit of discoloration, oxidation, but overall in good shape. I mean, it would be nice for a display. And the cookie tin can be yours. For $12, number one. $12, number one for the cookie tin. I love it. I love it. Never really looked at tins before, but I don't know, for some reason, this one jumped out at me and said, hey, love me. Take me home. All right. Let's see. Here it is. Now, if this doesn't say 1972 to you, nothing ever will. So I found this really cool wood recipe box with the eagle, 1976, 19, you know, in the 70s, we were all about this bicentennial and everything. It has a hole to hang it. I don't, it doesn't have any recipe cards. You can still find them. And it has some, a couple of little scratches and scrapes like you would expect for something that's what, 30, 40 years old. But it's in good shape. It's sturdy. It's solid. It's adorable. I bet this might even ship first class. It's light because, I mean, the wood is not, it's a lightweight wood. 
Anyway, the wood recipe box can be yours for $15, number three. Wood recipe box, $15, number three. I love it. I, I don't know. It just takes me back. Because 1972 was just last week, right? Oh, this one's so pretty. So when I found this at an antique store in, in Gettysburg, on the edge of Gettysburg, I carried it around for the longest time because I'm like, mm. I love it. I love this beautiful milk glass with grapes and leaves with the cased beautiful baby blue glass on the inside. I believe it's Fenton. I found another one where it was marked as Fenton. Um, it's not stamped, so it's older Fenton, if it is indeed. Um, I don't know, I just love it. It just doesn't have the ring of, I mean, it's just beautiful. I love this vase. It's about, what, eight inches tall. It's not giant. Um, it'll ship, it'll probably go over a pound for sure, just with packing and everything to keep it safe. I love it. Look at that blue. Look at that blue. I mean, really. Okay. Enough about the blue vase because it's beautiful and I can just sit and hold it and carry it around all day like I did there. Uh, the vase, $40, number seven. Yes, $40, number seven. This is probably going to go to my antique booth. If it doesn't go to your house. I love it. I love it. Okay. In Gettysburg, the moon and stars were everywhere. Here in, in Connecticut, in, in my area where I shop, I have not come across as many of these as I, I found that weekend. So this is a really pretty Amberina candy dish open compote footed look at that yellow down there i mean and with the lights i i see even more of the yellow and oranges shining through when the lights aren't on it it, it is more of a deep ruby red um i think it's ellie smith it's in excellent condition there are no chips there are no cracks it is just so pretty amberina candy dish 18 dollars Number four, I love it. I love it. I mean, and this red can go for so many things. I mean, you can just leave it out if you just have, I mean, red goes in every room, right? Um, for the 4th of July, it's good for fall. I don't know. I love that candy dish. All right, who's next? I found these last year and I don't know why they went in a box and were just hiding somewhere because they're cute. Look at this face. He's a coffee mug. He's a decent sized coffee mug. It's more of a modern coffee mug. He's not vintage or anything. He's in perfect shape. But wait, it gets better. He has a friend. There are two of these Chef Pig coffee cups. I love them. They're adorable. They're both in very good shape. No chips, cracks in either. I don't think they were hardly ever used. I wonder if they just sat on the shelf and were adorable because Let's face it, they're adorable. Okay. <laughs> uh, the two set of two pig mugs can be yours for $20, number 15. $20, number 15. Can you stand that? I mean, look at how proud he is that he just made you dinner. My God, if only they could make me dinner. If only. Right. That's all we took was to have a little. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm getting delirious now. We need more. 
Mm. Cheers. All right. So I have this really cute Royce Craft. It's not Longenberger. It's dyed. Let's see if we can get it. Royce Craft. I don't know. Royce Craft Traditions. Royce Craft Baskets. Made in Ohio. It's signed and dated. It's in pretty good condition. There was one place. Let's see if we can get to where it is. Then it had a little snarls in. There it is. There's the boo boo. But it's a tall rectangle. It's probably, I don't know, 10 inches tall by about eight across. I mean, really, it's it's in pretty good shape for the age of it. What? How old is it? 1996. So 20 something. I don't know. It's in pretty good shape for the shape it's in. Royce Craft Basket can be yours for $18, number 11, 18, number 11. Why not, right? Oh. Oh. Let's see if I can not knock everything down. So have this really cute farmhouse kind of rod iron four holder wine bottle holder. Now I thought this would be fun to redo to kind of paint some bottles and use them as vases. Maybe put some raffia on the handle or if you just need to put your wine bottle or if you want to give some wine to a friend as, as a gift bag, if you will. It has, it has a wood handle. It's in really good shape, except for the little dust that I didn't finish getting off of it. Um, yeah, really cute. Really cute four bottle wine holder can be yours. $15, number 20. Wine bottle holder. Let's see if I can get it back up there without breaking stuff. That's always a miracle if I can do something without breaking it. Who else is klutzy? Am I just klutzy or in a hurry? I don't know. It's probably both. Oh, just wait till you see this face. Look. He hears somebody coming because he was probably just doing something he shouldn't. This adorable little Disney Dalmatian is porcelain. There you go. See Disney Japan, Disney. There it is. Focus. All right. Well, trust me, it says Disney Japan. He's just a little tiny darling, probably, I don't know, two and a half inches tall. So cute. I love him. I love that curious face. Like, what did I do? Dalmatian figurine can be yours. Ten dollars. Number seventeen. Ten dollars. Seventeen. We're moving right along. We're moving right along. Okay. Oh, it's figurine time. Hello, Captain. So this really adorable boy with the sea captain and his parrot on a log. They're made by Gorham. And it says, I don't know if you can, probably can't see, that this was from 1974. Um, it's inspired by Norman Rockwell's Saturday Evening Post cover painting, Captain from August 19th, 1922. It's from the gift world of Gorham. And it's it's ceramic, porcelain maybe. I don't know, in that bisque kind of finish, that satin bisque kind of finish. It's really cute. The captain figurine with the boy can be yours for $25. Number six, 25, number six. So cute. 
All right, who's next? Oh, it's always a surprise when I pick the number out. Like, oh, look at that. I really like that. So these are really pretty. I rescued these from the side of the road. I gave them a bath. They're still a little stained up, but they're these really pretty uh, embroidered table table cloths, embroidered table or pillowcases. Friends, they're pillowcases. And it has, I can't remember what it's called, but I don't know if you can see these cutouts too. And the crochet edging. Now, they're, they they need soaked and pressed and and there were some stains and, and yellowing to them, just discoloration because they're old. I mean, you don't get this, this feel of cotton. I don't know if you can, they don't make cotton pillowcases and sheets like this anymore. I mean, they're just beautiful. I, I, I love them. I love the scalloped edge, the cutouts. There are two, I think, I think they're queen size pillowcases. I don't know. I love them. The embroidered two pillowcases can be yours for $15. Number 10. Rescued from the side of the road. 15. Number 10. Like, it, they could have spent the night out in the rain. Like, who wants to do that? That wasn't nice. Was nice. I told him to call me. Anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. So this isn't vintage, but it's fun. I found the um, this Vera Bradley wallet checkbook doohickey. It has a zipper for your change or lipstick or whatever. It has a little hand holder here on the inside. Uh, you put your ID, your checks, your pens. I don't think, I, I mean, I'm sure you could probably lay your cell phone in here too to just grab and grow, get, grab and go. <laughs> We're going to need some more tea to get this day going. And it has a uh, sunglasses, glasses case. I mean, it has two pockets here. You can put, I don't know, something there. And your, your glasses here. This is pretty thick padded. Anyway, it's the brown um, paisley like with the blues and turquoise. It's pretty. It's pretty. Color showing up really nice here on the camera too. So anyway, Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley, $15. Number 16. 15. 16. Vera Bradley. They're cute. All right, moving along. Probably about halfway. Oh, these are so pretty. This is another Gettysburg find. I, I, I mean, I'm from there, so I can go now. Any, I mean, I need to visit my mom more often. Let's face it. But um, yeah, the shopping was so worth it. Other than visiting with her and the rest of the family, so worth it. Found these two adorable vases, yours, urns. Gold trim. The one has a sticker on it that says finest Hughes China. So I'm assuming it was made in China. I don't know if Hughes was maybe a, a little thrift gift store or whatever. Now they're in pretty good shape. This one doesn't have any crazing, but this, this one, I don't know if you can see, it's still, it's beautifully crazed. Like just a mark of being old and has a crack on the inside. I don't think it goes the whole way through. Um, I think it could be gently used. See no marks on the bottom, but beautiful. Just a little fading to their gold trim. I love them. So the gold trim vase is the set of two, $18, number 19. $18, number 19, gold trim leaf faces. So pretty. Huh, there goes Daisy. There must be an intruder. 
Who's next? Ooh. Just wait till you see the screen. I can't believe that this hasn't found a home yet. Look at that green. Look at that font. Look at the shape of this bowl. I mean, holy mint century. It's a planter. Not totally sure who made it. It's not signed. Not totally sure. Now it does have a big chip, but once you put your dirt and your plants and all your lovely things in it, or you can use it for mail. I mean, you know, you could set your mail in here. Put your pens and whatever. But once you have your treasures in it, you'll never see this chip. I mean, like I said, I'm a green girl. I love green. I'm drawn to it. The fawn is adorable. Just sitting there waiting. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's like a, it looks like a little paisley. Cool shape. The fawn planter can be yours for $18. Number 14. 18. Number 14. Fawn planter. Take me home. It's going to be that kind of day. Mm. Cheers. Oh, this is so cute. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my cat. I don't know if you can hear her in the background. It may get louder. My poor old lady cat has a problem with catnip. I'm not going to lie. We don't judge her. But when she said a little too much, she starts yelling. <laughs> you may hear her. Anyway, uh, look at this. Look at that beautiful cross stitch needle point with the beautiful red barn in the tree and the in the field and the flowers. This is really cute. This is probably, I don't know, eight by eight in the homemade frame. I mean, really, can you stand it? I love it. I don't know if this doesn't get rehomed, I think it's going to go here and it's going to go. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So the beautiful cross stitch frame can be yours. $20. Number 18. Cute framed cross stitch. $20. Number 18. I love it. it was another thing when I found I had to carry it around and look at it. Do I want it? Don't I want it? But I love it. But it's adorable. But what am I going to do with it? Yeah, we have problems. We have problems. Okay. Oh, this one's a doozy. This one's heavy. So I came across this beautiful covered dish. Lois's Delicious Delights. It is so pretty. Look at that. It is made by Louisville Pottery. Louisville Stoneware. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to turn off my notifications before we started. Someday I'll get my life together. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, so the covered casserole dish perfect i don't think this has ever been used i found in somebody's basement i think she just put this down there to store it for that perfect occasion where lois was going to take her delicious delights and then that thing came and we stopped inviting people over so now that we're going back out again and your name is lois and you make delicious delights you need this bowl now this is heavy i'm thinking this is probably going to ship around five pounds. This is this is some sturdy made stuff, but it's beautiful. Like I said, I don't think it's ever used. Look at those. Where are they? Look at those cute flowers. Now, you know that this was the company that was owned by M.A. Hadley, and they took over her designs and whatever. So, the covered dish, $40, and it's worth every dollar of that 40 Number 12. Covered dish, $40, number 12. 
I love it. I'm not Lois, though. I do make delicious delights, though. I do. I'm a good cook. That's it. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I think we had a candy theme this week. Found this beautiful Westmoreland glass footed compote. It's painted. Hand painted roses, floral theme. The ruffle. It's in perfect condition, except for there's a little goo I still need to clean. If you can see, it's signed M.A. Lash 1978, I believe. So pretty. I thought there was going to be a ding on the frosting because when the tape was on, um, it, it looked like, I don't know, it, did, it just, there's, there's, it's in very good shape. It just has a little goo that needs cleaned off. Again, this is what, another one of my Gettysburg finds in this really cool little dingy, dirty antique store that I loved with a crotchety old man that I just wanted to pinch. I can't wait to go back. I can't wait. Anyway, Frosted Compote from Westmoreland. Number $12, number eight. $12, number eight. Oh, frosted Compote. Candy dish, open candy dish. Now you don't need to put candy in here. You can put like um, cotton balls. You can put your Q-tips. You can probably even put like your little, like your makeup brushes on your vanity. I mean, really. Anyway, you know you want it. You know you want it. This is fun. You having fun? I found this adorable hand-painted um, floral platter. Now it's a good sized cookie platter. Probably about 14 inches across. Hand-painted. It's signed Florida, Italy. Let's see, where's the Italy? Where is it? There it is. There it is. It's porcelain. I think it has just a cup, one or two little flea bites on the points here. I think there's one right there. I don't know if you can see, just the littlest, tiniest chip. I mean, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, there are some smudges where Florida kind of hit her, hit her hand on the paint as she was going along. Got going a little too fast. I think Florida is probably my spirit animal in Italy. It, it, it has a slash eight. I don't know what that means. Do you know? Tell me in the comments. That would be helpful because we all learn from each other, right? So this hand-painted platter can be yours. $15, number nine. Platter, 15, number nine. Isn't it pretty? I love those. I mean, this is summertime. Put some cheeseburgers on there for the picnic. Who doesn't love a good picnic? Okay. And since we're in Italy, I have another hand-painted piece from Italy. This little floral pinks and greens and purples hand-painted vase urn type deal. It's short. It's, what, four inches tall. It's signed Italy and stamps a dated something else sorry so cute italy base you, you can put the two together you can have your cheeseburgers and your flowers on the same decor okay italy base ten dollars number five ten number five we're losing All right, just a couple more to go. What is this? 
forgot all about it. So this really pretty, let me see, art pottery bowl. Look at that. Look at that detail in that wheat. Now it's a colander. And if you can, I just want you to see the whole outside of it first. So nicely done. There are no chips or cracks. I think that this would be perfect for like berries this time of year. Um, definitely could be used. It's signed Helen Martin, Kansas. So I think this is Kansas Pottery, no, 1989. See, Helen Martin, Kansas, 1989. I mean, just the detail. That's insane. The detail in that wheat and the depth in that. I mean, look at that. Beautiful piece. Beautifully done. The art pottery bowl, I'm calling it. 13 or 23 dollars. I'm not doing 13. We're doing 23. Number 13. 23, number 13. Look at that. Look at that. Beautifully done. I, I could never do pottery. That. Pottery is my craft nemesis. I just, I don't know. I don't know. And last but not least. It's beautiful. Um, Taylor Smith Taylor. Pink. I mean, this is, it, it doesn't pick up nice in the light, but this is perfect girl pink. Look at those flowers. This is a transfer. It's not hand painted. It does have gold trim and the embossed, they're leaves. Look at that. It's about what, 12 inches wide from here to here. Now there is, there is a ding. But the pink, the pink isn't painted on. It is in, it is in the, the, the um, material. It's in this porcelain which makes it even more beautiful see there's the taylor smith taylor sign i don't know i i don't think that this is signed by the person that did it, it looks like r sullivan it looked like somebody took a plate barley with cookies because it's we got to take cookie season or rice crispy treats yeah i don't need any of those but i love them anyway <laughs> it's take treat season somewhere and I bet they put their name on it to make sure that they got their platter back. But anyway, this beautiful plate, this beautiful pig plate can be yours. $14 number two. 14 number two. Okay. Well that's it. That's what I have. A quick 20 items, just a really short time hanging out with me. I kind of love this time of day to sit with you and maybe show you some of the treasures. So tell me in the comments below. Um, I'm going to send this over to the replay here. You can catch it anytime. Do you like doing this? Is this something that you'd like to see more of? Tell me what kind of, should I do videos? Should I, I, I don't know. I have, I have an estate sale that I went to um, that I do have the video. I don't know. Do you want to see it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, what do you want from me? And if you saw something here, remember the email address right there. Send me your name to your email address associated with either your PayPal account or your Venmo account. Okay. So that I can invoice you. Um, let's see your street address, your email, Venmo. Tell me what you like. Tell me what I can do to keep you interested in my treasures because I like my treasures and I'm sure I'm not the only person that likes these treasures. Uh, but if you miss them, you can find them probably next week, either at my booth at Collinsville Antiques or they're gonna be in my eBay store. All the links are down below. Um, you are gonna find them for a little more money though than what I have them here. So the buy is better here. Um, yeah. So thanks for hanging out with me. This was fun. Um, and we'll catch up. I don't know. Maybe we'll do this again next week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm a fly by the seats kind of girl. So who knows what's going to happen. 
and either it's work or it's not going to work. I, I'm fine with it either way. So with that, be well, be safe, and most of all, be happy. Bye-bye.